James Rushing remembers being in a fog when he heard his doctor explain his diagnosis, end-stage heart failure. A lot goes through your head. Since his heart attack in 2005, Rushing has had several procedures to fix his ailing heart. The most recent was the installation of a mechanical circulatory support device. When patients come to us in the end stages of congestive heart failure, we will evaluate them and determine what the best course of treatment is, either listing for a heart transplant, and if that's not possible, the alternative would be the mechanical heart pump. Mechanical circulatory support is a rapidly growing technology and thousands of patients now have MCS devices. But until recently, there were no common guidelines for the care and treatment of these patients. An international team of experts sought to change that with best practice guidelines published this month in the Journal of Health and Lung Transplantation. UAB cardiologist Salpi Pambukian was part of that team. It's the first time something like this has been published, and it really covers the spectrum all the way from the time the patient presents to the VAD program at the time of evaluation, uh, the preoperative optimization that's necessary, how to manage the per patient perioperatively, what to do in the early postoperative period, and then onwards during the life of the mechanical circulatory support patient. Supporting the patient once they leave the hospital is an area that Pambukian feels strongly about. In many regards, it's actually the most important factors. You know, as doctors and nurses, we can get through pa patients through the hospital stay, we can get them through surgery, we can um, su successfully, you know, um, nurse them through that recovery period, but once they leave the hospital after that initial stay, how they do over the long term very much depends on what their social support is. Rushing's wife leans on the team for support and says their experience is invaluable. I can't imagine trying to do it without the support. All you have to do is pick up the phone. Rushing does have some limitations, but he's enjoying life and enjoying the social support of others who are going through similar experiences. The counsel I know really helps. We cry together, we laugh together, we pray a lot for each other. Uh, we keep up with what everybody's going through every, everywhere. Pambukian hopes these new guidelines will serve as a springboard over time to help physicians learn how to best help patients like rushing.